I've had this idea for a video on my mind for a while now. I wish someone would have made a video like this before I bought my car so I would have known what to do right out of the gate. So this is gonna be the top five first performance mods you should do to your Camaro. All right, so number one is a cold air intake. This is the most simple thing a car person could do. It takes like five minutes to put a new one on. It adds a cool new sound and if your car is supercharged, it makes the whine way louder. If I had to recommend a certain brand, I would say either Rotofab or Cold Air Inductions for a Camaro. I had K&N but that intake kept having problems where it would slide off no matter how hard I would tighten the clamps on it would just keep coming off all right number two would be an LT2 intake manifold now this manifold comes off the C8 Corvette and it's been dyno shown that it's only within like three horsepower at the peak of a difference between an MSD manifold and an LT2 manifold but the difference between price is literally like $1,500 you could get an LT2 manifold or a ported LT2 manifold for so cheap and if you combine that with a 95 millimeter ZR1 throttle body you'll be making a ton of power there is a kid I know that bought my old LT2 intake manifold, put a 95 millimeter throttle body on. He was full bolt on, ended up making like 500 something horsepower. Another thing with the LT2 manifold, they make a ton of covers for it since it was meant for a C8 Corvette. They have like Corvette covers. They even make custom Camaro covers and they have a carbon fiber cover that looks so sick. I was going to get it, but again, you know, it didn't work out. All right. So thing number three is catless long tube headers. I should have did this so long ago. Originally, I made the mistake of going with pipe for a cat delete and then I got a tune with that. But the thing is you don't gain as much power from catless pipe as you do with long tube headers. I'm not sure how all the scientific shit works, but the sound is way better. You'll gain more power. That's what I should have done. But me being me, I tried to cheap out and then had to pay for it later. All right, thing number four is an E85 kit. Now you could get one of these kits for pretty cheap. You can get it for like under $200. Now, when you put a flex fuel kit on your car, you gain like minimum 50 horsepower. I got beat when I was just long tube, simple bolt-on car by Camaros that were manuals, but they had E-kits and they were gapping the shit out of me. <laughs> And the E-kit combined with long tube headers and a cold air intake is really all you need on a Camaro to have fun. Now on top of that stuff, you should definitely get a tune. So whether that's the E-kit, headers, cold air intake, even if you decide to just go catless instead of headers, whatever it is, you need to get a tune to really maximize the performance of your car. I don't suggest getting a remote tune. People can say what they want, but I feel more comfortable having a tuner actually there. Now the difficulty is finding a tuner that knows what he's doing, but depending on where you guys live, you could Google reviews and I'm sure there's a good shot heavy tuner near you. All right, and the final thing, this is the most important one. I honestly should have put this one first, is a catch can. Bro, when my car was stock, I had so much oil in my intake. And even now, after my car is all modified and everything, I tried to skimp out and not get a catch can. Bro, I'm paying for it now. You need to get a catch can. I don't know why the stock PCV system on these cars doesn't do a good job, or maybe my car is just somehow an outlier. You need to get a catch can for these cars. The brand that I would recommend is Mighty Mouse. They make a whole bunch of different ones like vented, non-vented, recirculating, and you can actually email them and the guy's pretty quick to respond. He'll hook you up, get you what you need. Oil in your manifold is no bueno. Shit starts to fuck stuff up. I know this is more of a quicker video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I wish someone made a video like this when I first got my car because I didn't really know what to do. And the videos that were out were like, oh, you should get a cam. Oh, you should supercharge it. Oh, do this, do that. Rims. It's like, bro, this is like really simple things that I think you could do. Headers are probably the most expensive thing on this list, but they're definitely definitely worth it. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with my list and why. What would you put on this list? All right, peace.